Just gonna say it right now, spoilers. When I find myself in times of trouble, Stephen Moffat fucks with me. God damn it, Stephen. Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Immortal Cave and saying we trust blogspot.ca. As usual, I'll put a link to my blog in the description. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Stephen. Okay, I said spoilers already. First of all, this was a pretty good episode, but this is basically... It... <clears throat> this was... I was not sure what to make of this episode. I'm still not sure what to make of this episode, but... Mother Teresa. This. This, 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 this. Okay. We all knew Missy was coming back. And admittedly, it was comical as hell when she basically just said, Yeah, I'm back. Don't ask. I just am. I, I have to admit, I kind of like the fact that they were just like, No, no, just, I'm just back. Just don't. Don't question it. Which, to be fair, sounds about right. Um... <sighs> Wasn't expecting Davros, though. That one kind of caught me off guard. This, ladies and gentlemen, this almost feels like they gave me too much, but at the same time, I'm so giddy at half the stuff they did give me, I'm kind of not complaining. Like, I mean, obviously it features the 12th Doctor, who is fantastic in this, by the way. But the thing is, the storyline itself kind of follows this weird... I almost want to say, like, um, very similar to uh, Impossible Astronaut, the, the first two-parter of season six. And one of my favorite two-parters of all time, because number one, this is a two-parter as well. Next part, uh, which is familiar, I believe, is the next one, is going to be the second part, and it's going to be out next week. This part, much like Impossible Astronaut, leaves off on a very... Very interesting note, but it, it does also comes off very similar because of the fact that it starts off with this proclamation of the Doctor's death. Not in terms of you see it like you did in Season 6. This one, yeah, Missy gets his will, comes back, and basically just says... Well, she causes a time warp that every single airplane in existence just stops moving. Which, that's Missy for you. And she's random as always, she's, she's fun. Um, she's kind of a good guy in this one, which I was not expecting, but, uh, eh. Of course, then again, she also, you know, I think the first thing she said to Clara was, how's your boyfriend? So, she's still Missy. She's, she's still the master, and God, God love her. Anyway, um, this story was very interesting, because it, the first thing we see is that freaky scene from the trailers of that, the hands coming out of the ground with the, the eyeballs. Which, first of all, goddamn, that's a freaky-ass scene. But, uh, we learn that the boy in that scene who's being held, who's being, uh, like, basically kind of threatened by them, is Davros. And the doctor, when he finds out he's Davros, was going to save him, and then runs away. Figuring, maybe this might solve all my problems, and it doesn't even come close. Long story short, Davros sends... Cannot think of the creature's name. I'm just going to call him Voldemort. Because that's kind of what he is. But... D a cool design, I will say that. But it, it's, it's Voldemort. You know, snakes everywhere. Anyway. Sends... This guy to, f to find the Doctor. Ends up finding the Doctor, Missy, and Clara. Teleports them on to what they think is a space station. is actually Scaro. And, long story short, by the end of the episode, both Missy and Clara are dead. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, but then, the Daleks destroy the TARDIS, and then the very last scene we get is, after the Doctor vanishes from trying to save uh, Davros in the beginning, the Doctor comes back, points a Dalek... Ray gun at him and says, I'm going to save my friend the only way I know how. Exterminate. Hmm. Okay. I'm very intrigued where this is going. 
But at the same time, I'm really not sure. I'm just checking the time. Holy crap, it's only five minutes in. I'm very unsure of what to make of this episode, because on one side, you know, Missy's back. Awesome. And I'm sure, like, all of this is going to get undone, obviously, uh, at the end, at, by the next episode. Um, I don't really get the name. The Magician's Apprentice. I guess it's referring to Clara, but she doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, she doesn't really play that big of a part. Um, I know, obviously, Witch is Familiar is referring to Missy, which means maybe Clara might go a little evil next episode? If that's what they're even referring to. I... I have no idea what to make of this. Like, it was a good episode. It was it was enjoyable, but it just... It threw so much. Like, don't misunderstand me. I'm happy to, as hell to see Missy back. I'm happy as hell to see Davros back. Especially since he's being his usual... Very slimy. And... Oh, God, I, I, lo I love Davros. And seeing both Davros and Missy, two of my favorite villains in Doctor Who, in the same episode, no, 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 you win. This is a really good episode because of that only. But again, it just feels like it threw so much crap at us. And God forbid if this is the first season you're watching, oh! Who's Davros? Who's Missy? What's going on? Like, it's a really good episode, but it just, it's not new guy friendly. So that's kind of the confusing bit here. Um, merciful Christmas. Like, it, it was really cool. Like, and the doctor, I don't know if he kind of knew he was going to die. I think he did, because he had like this massive celebration in, like, Essex in, like, the 1100s. You know, one guy requested an axe battle, he comes in riding a tank with a guitar, which I have to, and wearing sunglasses, which I have to admit is a great image. And he's being very silly, he's being very goofy. And Clara comes in, and he's like, what the heck? This is not you. And he just goes something around the lines of, for a couple centuries I wore a bow tie, and before that I wore a massive scarf. Trust me, every bit of me is invited here. You know, it's it's a it's a cute little moment, and it kind of shows Peter Capaldi's the Twelfth Doctor's lighter side, which I like. But this is this is giving me all kinds of deja vu to the Eleventh Doctor's stuff. So I'm not sure what to make of it fully. Now, I do really enjoy how everyone interacted. I like the fact that Missy is just kind of being random as usual. I like the fact that they ended up on Scaro. For a second, I thought it was Gallifrey, and I was going to poop. But, because it was a cloaked planet, right? And I'm sure ever like, the first time, I'm just like, no, 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 this is, is this Gallifrey? No, no, it's Scaro. That's still cool, but... Um, but this, this, I'm not sure what to make of all this. Like... It's obviously the next episode's going to make a big determination of whether this was a really good two-parter or a really good season opener. Frankly, I think this this feels more like a freaking season ender. Like, uh, I don't know, it feels like they should have had something with this. And again, this is literally after watching one episode, so maybe next week I'll, I'll take all this back. But it really does feel like the stuff with Davros should have been in at the beginning. But then... They should have maybe skidded around it. Like, maybe at the end of the episode, they would have had the thing with Davros and him, and him teleporting away. And then that's kind of the, th the running theme, is that he's trying to keep that secret of the fact that he basically killed Davros. Or tried to kill Davros. Or didn't save him, I should say, would be a better term. When all this was happening. Now... I think that maybe that would have been better because it would have had more build-up, it would have had more size to the eventual thing. Now, granted, I don't even know what the, the theme for this season is. Maybe that might be it still. But it's it's really hard to say. Now, granted, you know, at the end of the episode, of course, the Twelfth Doctor picking up a freaking Dalek ray gun screaming exterminate. That, hmm. 
you see, I thought a lot of the, I don't know if they're still doing the whole, if, if you hear movement, that's because I'm trying to move my legs, this table is very small, um, and I'm checking the time, okay, 10 minutes, I thought that they finished the, um, the whole, am I a good man thing last season, now granted, if they didn't, whatever, but it's still, it just feels like they're kind of beating a dead horse at this point, almost, with the, the dark side of the Doctor. This is kind of my problem with Peter Capaldi right now. Granted, I, I love the 12th Doctor. I love Peter Capaldi. But I just feel like maybe they might be beating a dead horse. Maybe they might be going a little overboard. Maybe they might be going God knows what. But I am still intrigued. But I'm just very confused as to whether or not or how like, where this is going. I'm extremely intrigued. I don't know if I would say I'm 100% positively intrigued, or not. But this, this two-part is going to be interesting. Not just that, the fact that one of the first things the 12th Doctor does when he sees Clara is he hugs her. Which I wasn't, I didn't think of it at the time, though they did mention it a couple seconds later, but it really... That, that was weird for Capaldi, considering the fact that that's his running joke, is the fact that he he's not a hugging person. But it's... Again, all of this is just so... It just feels like it, the episode's a little cluttered. I think I feel like they tried to push too much in. I think this should have been a one-parter. They should have included the Davros thing at the end. And then the theme of the, the season should have been the Doctor dealing with the fact that he did that. And at the end, he would have to own up to it. I think that actually would have worked really well. Now granted, this is after watching one episode. One singular episode. For all I know, next week they could completely change things up. They could do God knows what. But, I'm going to state this right now. It was a very good episode. Watch it. It's, it's, it's extremely good. It's just, it's... They throw so much at you. It's very hard to keep track. So, I will say that much negative. But it, it, it is good. It is fun. Obviously, the fanboy inside of me is just like, Davros and the Master in the same episode. Yes, please. But, again, very cluttered. But, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you next week for... Which is which is familiar? Which is familiar? I'd say which is apprentice. God damn it, Moffat. You had to do it to me again, didn't you? You know, see you next week. If I can ever find the stop button on this recording, there we go.